Hello and welcome back to this edition of Minstrels on the Block, special guest Sean Crane. So, going back many years, exactly what kind of music did your dad's dad do? Uh, he was more country. Ah, country, uh, okay. He was more country, yeah. The kind question bar band you've been waiting deal. for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now, this is the part of the show where we pimp stuff. <laughs> promotion, maybe, promotion. So, what do you got going on? Um, right now, currently, I'm working on uh, mainly just uh, producing uh, my songs one, you know, mm -hmm. one by one. Right. Kind of. Mm -hmm. uh, I have some songs online on uh, my, my MySpace right now. It's uh, uh, MySpace forward slash The Musical Crane. Um, and uh, you can go on there, and I have three songs or so that uh, they're not fully produced, but they are you know semi like somebody kind of world you can go listen to that one which i'm going to play that one today um you can go listen to maybe tomorrow that's another one um, that i'm going to play or perform today there i have several in there and um and i also have a youtube that i just started on um not too long ago and uh got four subscribers so i'm cool I'm doing so great right now <laughs> but i mean it's good though i'm getting a lot of views and a lot of people are interested That's in great. hearing more stuff so um now do you have any albums for sale online um right now no yeah. but i'm looking at um you know once these songs get produced i'm looking at putting them on cd baby um and just you know selling it you know one song at a time All right. you know, singles like yeah, doing a single, yeah. Not probably either. probably doing a couple of different singles. Very cool. So. Now, where can people find you online? Um, they can find me uh, basically on Facebook. Uh, I have a Facebook page. It's Sean Crane Music. Um, you can just look up, you know, just put my full name and then music, M-U-S-I-C. And then uh, you just look at me up that way. And uh, I should have links going to the videos and stuff on my uh, on my music page from Facebook. So, and also my MySpace should be on there too. Cool, so, excellent, easy access. <laughs> A couple of questions I like to ask uh, the artists I have on the show is uh, one is, what is your opinion and what do you think of the local Valley's music scene? Hmm. I think we have like a lot of talented people. Um, and my my biggest uh, you know my biggest desire actually, uh, if anything, is to influence those people to get on a stage and I guess use that talent you know mm -hmm. that they have. Um, I know there's probably a lot of people who sit at home or they're in their houses right now that you know they are, they have an amazing talent you know and uh, they need to just use it you know they yeah. get out there and use it. Yeah, in fact, for someone who is sitting on the couch watching the show, which hopefully there's a lot of them, but uh, <laughs> what advice would you give as far as, say, somebody sitting there, writes songs, plays, whatever, they don't know how to go about it, what would you say to them? I would say go to uh, Brian's Open Mic Night <laughs> at Fountain City Golf. I love this guy. <laughs> um, you, you can go there. Um, there's, there's plenty of... of Places I think that you can plug yourself in um, with other people. You don't really have to be the performer for say. You can, if you ever just desired you you want to be a part of something. Um, there's also Nashville singer songwriters that I'm a part of as well. Um, they get together um, and they meet. Uh, I believe currently on top of the old bank building. I think mm -hmm. that's where they meet now, and uh, on different nights, Nona has that going on. So, if you don't feel comfortable being a performer, doesn't mean you can't be a writer. So, True. Um, so bring those songs and and get them out there. If you have questions about yeah. either of those, hit up me or Sean Crane on Facebook, and we can get, we can set you up with people that you know for the NSAI if you're interested in that sort of thing. Um, one other thing. Um, where would you ultimately like to see your music go? Um, because some people, you know, want to be writers. Some people want to be performers. You know. Yeah. Uh, predominantly, um, I would like to see you know my stuff go uh, commercial or movie or um, or uh, something along the lines of. Uh, just uh, on anything like inspirational, mm -hmm. you know, because there's a lot of things 
that I think are in my or a lot of words in my music that are very inspirational um, and could you know reach a wide audience mm-hmm. with a with a message. So um, so I think um, the main thing is just uh, I just want it to kind of um, be used to I guess the the extent it can be used. Right, go as far as I mean, you can yeah, go. basically. Red carpet, so, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> cool. I tell you what, we're going to close with one of Sean's songs. And uh, Sean, it's great to have you on the yeah. show. Thank you very much for coming having me on here. Hope you've gotten a lot out of this episode. And uh, hope you've enjoyed it. See you again next time. I'm Brian Mallard with Minstrels on the Block. But this is uh, called uh, Maybe Tomorrow. Woke up around 5 a.m. Memories of you never stop coming. Flooded the room I was in. I was in. Tried to hold back the tears again As if they were not my friend I saw that you had left a page of the story Oh, I was in I was never in to see your face again oh till maybe tomorrow our lives won't look the same we'll be two different people take our chances out in the rain maybe tomorrow our lives won't look the same we'll be two different people but we'll always be the same Oh, I guess this is how we part Our quick goodbyes and hopes Hope you come back in Back into my life again Oh, I wanted this more than you know I hated to see see you go, oh This is part of the story Where I'll never know I'll never know
find out forever. Take our chances out in the room.